senors uh, and senoritas. Now you might ask yourself, why is Ty speaking Spanish? And there he goes. He's been drinking heavily. No logical reason. <laughs> <laughs> because we're at the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters. And Nothing has to make sense here. It's five o'clock, so it certainly doesn't make much sense around her. Yeah, that's right. What he said. And we're drinking something run of the mill. Yeah. We thought we'd, uh, you know, tone it down from all our extravagant, huh? odd, unusual, delicious, hunted whiskeys and just go with something that everybody could get and try. Regular, 40% Glenlivet. I mean, when we learn, tell so, us, Glenlivet. Glenlivet, 12 years old. Tell us, in 1824, George Smith established his distillery in the remote and wild valley of Glenlivet. Ever since, his smooth flowing whiskey has been regarded as the definitive single malt Scotch mm -hmm. whiskey. Pish posh. 12 years of age, single malt, do, do, do. Double oak matured in European oak and American oak casks. Uh, two of my favorite things that I'd like to see on this bottle. Not present, but whatever. Yeah, so I'm don't in. let this look fool you. Mm. The original 12, they changed the label to this, called it the Double Oak in 2019. Yep. Same stuff, apparently. Stamped on the back here, the date and all that kind oh, of yeah. stuff. But yeah, September 12th, 2019. Uh, legends. It's the same juice. So we're just gonna taste it. It's regular stuff, it's inexpensive. Yeah. And uh, we wanna see if it's worth the, what, $40 price tag or whatever it is. This was like on a big display mm -hmm. they were pushing, it's like $34. There you go, 34 bucks. For we'll a 12 year old, 30 single bucks. malt scotch whiskey. For 12 year old, mass produced, mm. single malt scotch. One of the biggest selling, well-known whiskeys in the world, especially North America. Yeah, I mean, everybody knows Glen Livet 12. Everybody knows Glen Thick 12. And we got a couple up in the back here. Wait, you know, we're yeah, not but, saying it's bad. We like Glen Fittick. Yeah, you like it. Glen Livet, right? Uh, a lot of uh, connoisseurs may stick their nose up at it because it is 100% absolutely an entry-level whiskey. Yes. So. Um, I don't think we're at the level where we're entry level anymore, but you know, it's okay to go back to where we came from and just see what it's all about. See if it's worth it now. Yep. Yeah. I remember my first scotch ever was actually the Glen Fittick. I don't mind the nose. It's oaky. Definitely oaky. oaky. Sweet. Vanilla-y. Vanilla. It's all the things you'd expect. Oak and I'm getting a lot of malt on the nose as well, but like fresh, crisp malt. Not those dank old malts. Very good. Good caramel too. I can see that. Salt water. It's a little salty for sure. Yeah. Briny almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but, it. Yeah, no, don't don't get confused with something like old Pulteney. No. It's like sea brine. No, I wouldn't I would say this is more like a marinade. <laughs> yeah, like just a salt water that you soak a ham in. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah, let's do it. So, malt, malt forward. Yeah. It's um, a little bit sharp, seemingly a little unrefined. There's a bit of sweetness on the exhale. That's yeah. weird. On the finish, it's a little sweeter. Uh, the arrival is very like, Kind of catches you. Yeah, it's okay. It's thirty-four bucks. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think for the price. Yeah, for the price, that's the beer to beat. You can't go wrong for the price. I mean, come on. Yeah, a lot of people may rate it and forget how much it costs because at thirty-four dollars, you don't expect it to behave like a hundred twenty dollars mm -hmm. scotch. No, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it either. I've been sitting on it for a while. I mean. 2019, when they first released it, I picked up the new one and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try it and see if it's any different. I don't think it tastes any different from my memory. Yeah, from my memory. There's not a hell of a lot of difference here. I mean, it's not, of course, the same whiskey, but it's done the same way, right? They take hundreds and hundreds of casks and mix them together. Maybe you got a 14 year old cask in here. Oh, my be. Yeah, maybe you got 1200 regular casks, right? Like, whatever. It's decent. It's $35. And if you're looking for something to drink that's not too scary, 
I think this could be for you. Easy, approachable, can't go wrong. Take that to a party. Mm -hmm. Well, cheers. Cheers, Don. Cheers, Glenn Levitt. Cheers, Heathens. Cheers, y'all. Not the mama. The show's coming back. I heard. <laughs>